Section 16.4 talks about Green's theorem, and this is what the theorem says. Let C be positively oriented. That's positive orientation, that's negative orientation. Piecewise smooth, simple, closed curve. It must be closed in the plane, and let D be a region bounded by C. If the components of the vector field F have continuous partial derivative, at least the first order, on an open interval contain containing D, then remember this must work. The work of F dot dr is, and in case you've forgotten, del cross F is actually the partial with respect to X, the partial with respect to Y. If you're going for 3D, P, Q, and R, right? And if you're going for 2D, it's simply this part, the 2 by 2. So, there it is. So, they say verify Green's theorem. We just did that. Let's do this both ways. So, what is this saying? Well, you need to be able to read F and D, F being the vector. And there it is. That is F right there, and that is dr. So, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, we're going in the right direction. That's counterclockwise. That's positive rotation. We're trying to figure this out. I could do this two ways. One way I could say, well, let's see. Along C1, that being C1, I have x equals 0, right? And so, I could say R of T is actually 0 T, and let T vary between 0 and 3. Or you could put 3 T if you want and make that a 1. It's up to you. However you see fit, it doesn't really matter. So, this integral right here is going to equal the integral along C1 plus the integral along C2 plus the integral along C3, that is, along C1, 0 to 3, of negative y, that's negative t, 0, and the derivative of this is 0, 1, dt. So that turns out to be 0. Plus, along C2, there's C2. Along C2, we have R of T equaling uh, T for X and Y is fixed at 3. And I have T varies between 0 and 3. Again, you could make that 3T and that's 0 to 1. It doesn't really matter. So that is 0 to 3 of what? Of negative 3T. And the derivative of that is 1, 0, dT. So that is the integral from 0 to of negative 3 plus 0, negative 3 dt. And if I go for the last c3, along c3, r of t equals t, and this is y equal uh, y equal x, but I need to start at 3 and terminate at 0. So if I let this be t and this be and let t vary from 3 to 0 specifically, or make that a negative. No, no, that wouldn't work. But that will work. So in that case, that would be the integral from 3 to 0. If you put 3 in, you have 3, 3, 0. Yeah, that will work. Uh, 3, 0 of what? Of negative y, negative t, t. And the derivative of this is actually 1, 1. Is that right? If I look for the r, 1, 1. So that is negative t plus t, which is 0. So this is the integral. This is actually uh, negative 3t evaluated from 0 to 3. That is negative 9. That would be the answer. Okay, well, we just did that in the previous section. We know how that works. No, it doesn't work that way. Let me see. I didn't. Okay, that's fine.
So that's what this site says. Well, what is it saying? It says you could also do this. You could also evaluate the double integral. Well, del crossed with f, that is partial with respect to x, partial with respect to y, and f is actually negative y x, and that is 1 minus a negative 1 plus 1, that's 2. And I'm going to run x run from 0 to 3, and y run from 0 to 1. So that is 2 times 1 times 3. No, that's not working. Let me double check what went wrong. I caught it. I caught the mistake. That's not 0 to 3. That is, so we said there's a 2. The x run from 0 to 1, and y, x runs from 0 to 3, and y runs from 0 to y equal x. There we go. And that would be 2 times, that would be, that would be uh, x, now that would be y evaluated from 0 to x, right? That is 2 times x, the integral from 0 to 3 dx. That is x squared evaluated from 0 to 3. That would be a 9 minus 0, which is a 9. And let me see. That is, we said 0, 0, 3, 0, 3, 3. Okay, why is it coming out negative? Let me check that out. Okay, I see it as well, you guys. Okay, I see it. Actually, it was right there on the blue part. When we looked at C2, X is 3 and Y is 3. You guys, you can see anything. So that is... negative t and 3 dotted with the derivative of that, which is 0t. That turns out to be Three t, which is three t squared over two, which in turn turned out to be. Uh, it's not negative though, right? Which turns out to be three halves times. Okay, third time will be a charm. The derivative of that is 0, 1. So that is 0 plus 3. So that's going to be 3t evaluated from 0 to 3. 3 into 3 minus 0, which is 9. So bottom line, instead of doing four of those, three of those, I could get it in one line. Imagine if it's a, recta a rectangle. Instead of doing four of those, I could do it in one and speaking of the devil, what if I'm looking at 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so we're running in positive orientation. What if we're not running in positive orientation? So here you're going to have to make C1, C2, C3, C4, but it says use the theorem, and again you need to make out that this is x squared plus y. 1 plus y squared dotted with dx dy. So you need to know what f is. There's f. So that's going to be the double integral over this region. Well, that region is simple. Why is that? Because I'm going to say I'm going to let x run from 0 to 3 and y run from 0 to 4. 0 to 3 and y run from 0 to 4. There it is. What's going to be the hurdle? Well, what is the gradient? Crossed with f. And that's pretty much all I have to do on almost every problem, partial with respect to x. And later on in the chapter, we go to 3D. Well, what difference does it make? x squared plus y 
and 1 plus y squared, and that's going to be a 0 minus a 1. So there it is. And you could finish that, and that's that. That's all there is. Instead of doing four of those and running all around and doing all of that crazy stuff, I could simply get to the answer in no time. And how about here? Well, again, a triangle. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm not there yet. A triangle with 0, 0. three four to zero four to zero zero okay positive orientation that's pretty good that's going to be the double integral and I'm going to run this from x equals zero to x equal three and y is going to run from this line to y equal four and let's see what that line is. This is uh, y equal rise. You rise 4 units and you run 3 units. 4 thirds x. So that means... There. And what's going to go in there? What is del crossed with f? They gave us f right there. So partial with respect to x, partial with respect to y. And we're looking at e to the x radical x. That would be 1 over twice radical x minus 0. And there it is. The idea is very simple. It's very efficient instead of what we did. But what's the catch? Instead of what we did before and spending all of that time on it, the catch, it has to be closed. If it's not closed, then Green's theorem doesn't apply. And how about the next problem again? We did this over and over before. We never actually did one of those that shifted, but not much difference. And a circle looking like this. Okay, not a problem. And how does this work? Well, you know, the integral along C of F dot dr is going to equal the double integral and let's see how that works what is again, two dimensions it's really simple partial with respect to x that's a one minus the partial with respect to y so that's a one that turns out to be a zero Point. That wasn't the intention. Okay, I'm going to alter that slightly. I'm going to make that a 2. I'm sorry. I just wanted to... Does that help? Yeah, it does help. So make that a 2. Why? Otherwise it would be 0, right? I mean, you're done. But let's just get that out of the... What is... It's not a 0. That would be... Uh, so let's see. A 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. And here, isn't that the area of a circle? I don't need to do any work, right? Argy, argy, theta, not, no need. What's the area of a circle? Isn't that pi times 3 squared? The radius? Isn't that negative 9 pi and you're done? So there it is. And these things do come up, you know, I'm doing this because you do get to see them. And how about this last problem? Well, that's the closed integral of long c of negative 2y 5x dotted with dx dy. There's dr and there is f. The region they're talking about. Uh, x runs between 0 and pi and y runs from 0 to sum. So we're talking about this region. Okay, no biggie. So that's going to equal the double integral. And what is the gradient crossed with f? I did write cross, yeah. That is partial with respect to x, 
partial with respect to y to negative 2y 5x and that is 5 minus a negative plus 2 that's 7 right uh, dx x runs from 0 to pi dy y runs from 0 to the sum of x and that's all there is for this lesson I think it's straightforward that's just me so instead of doing a line integral right running all the way and coming all the way back along c1 and c2 and creating r for each we could do that of course and c2 we could do r of t as well and then do two integrals you could just do the area and remember that it's del cross the 